Okay, Navy Federal. This is my third one. April 22nd at 12.17 p.m. Hi, it's Izzy available. I do not know. I was trying to reach her, but she hung up twice, and I do tape all my phone calls. Would you spell your last name, please? Liva, L-I-V-A. Patrick. Thank you. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Right, at this moment, not in so many words. She would have been listening. I refuse to be talked to that way. Well, do your job, right? I mean, she's talking so nonchalantly, like, oh, I'll send it through, but it's not going to go. This is my life, and this woman is being dismissive. It's not there. I think I'm sorry. Hello, my name is Anne. How may I help you? Hi, Anne. I was holding for Susie. Um, my name is Patrick Leva. This call may or may not be recorded for quality assurance purposes. Um, Susie has hung up on me twice. I would like to file a complaint first. Um, the woman okay. that the woman that did my loan yesterday was extremely helpful. She spent two hours on the phone going through everything. She got my percentage down to like 43. Susie refused to look in any other loan folders for something that I might be eligible for. I asked her when I left her my first message, and I taped my messages. Please look at YouTube. Bank of America has done nothing but lie. They refuse to disclose. I have the news editor from Channel 9 News stating that the government has given up. Right before this call, I contacted Congresswoman Susan Davis, and they will be getting in touch with you as well. Because for that first woman to be so upfront and so sweet and saying, we can make this work, not in so many words, but she did, and she said, have them keep looking. And for this rumor to say, I've been doing this for 22 years, and I refuse to be spoken to like that. If she wasn't so dismissive, and if she would have been listening to what I've been through over the last 15 months, she might have had a little bit of professionalism. I'm drowning, and I'm dying here. I'm a disabled veteran in ill health. And for her to be that way when people's lives are in the balance is just totally unprofessional. I need a job. I could do a better job than she has answering the telephone. I need some All help. Right. I'm drowning here. You guys were my last hope. You lifted me up out of the pit of hell I was in with Bank of America. You gave me all this false hope, and then for her to be on the phone today, no, nope, I'll send it through anyway, but you're at 92%. There's nothing we can do for you. Why bother calling me back if she's not going to lift a finger to look for something else that might fit my needs? I'm drowning here. I've never been laid on a payment. My credit scores were in the 800s. Now they're in the 700s. I lowered my credit card from $60,000 credit limit to 30 to be financially responsible. I refused to sign Bank of America's modification documents, which I was approved for, because they're thieves, allegedly. And I have that in writing. I need some help from a bank that actually will help a customer. And if not, Congress will be involved very shortly. Okay, sir. Uh, I'm going to do the best I can for you, but I can't. Um I'm looking over you long as you know, why are you speaking to me? Thank you. Thank you. That's all I was asking her to do, and she's just like, I've been doing this for 22 years. It's like, well, then help me. Okay. Uh, I pay my bills, I, I promise. You know, I got another one of your emails that says, even though you've been a wonderful customer for 10 years, that's not going to influence our... Even when you know and you can sit at home at night and watch 60 Minutes, Bank of America shredding documents and forging 4000 per day, you can't help the person that is struggling to stay afloat. I'm still right side up with my house. I could sell it and make a small profit. I want to die here, and no one will help me get to that end result. My loan. There's no reason why I can't make a $1,400 less month a payment. All my income is steady. I will never lose it. I'm a disabled veteran, and I'm on SSDI. They'll only go up 
once the market recovers. I'm a sure win. And for her to give me so much attitude is not fair. I was begging for help, and she slammed me into the dirt like Bank of America. Maybe she should work over there. She'd fit right in. All the woman asked me to do was ask her to please look in any other folders, because there's lots of different programs out there, to be sure I tell them I'm a 100% disabled veteran. And she couldn't do that, or was unwilling. I'll send what I have in, but your numbers are too high, was her response. You know, that's not public service. She's not helping anyone by doing that. She's just making matters worse. All right. Okay, from what I'm looking at... Yes. Okay. Your estimated home is uh, valued at uh, 580? Yes. One of the street just went on the market for that. It might be 560. I, I can't say for sure. But my house is much nicer than that one. I put in a $60,000 saltwater solar pool. I've added a bathroom. I've kitchen, I've added a new roof, new windows, new forest air heater. I mean, the house is, could sell. The bank wants me to foreclose, and I won't. What's going to end up happening, because Bank of America is such a large crook, I can write off my second, which is Navy Federal, and I can write off my credit card. I don't want to do that. I want to pay my bills. But Bank of America is so big, they're forcing my hand. They gave me a junk modification loan never disclosing anything. After 14 months, they say, oh, the money we save you during your trial period is going to be tacked onto your principal. And on top of all this confusing stuff that they can't tell me, years one through five is adjustable. Years five through seven. They want me to go from a 6.25 fixed, I have 22 years left, to some kind of crazy modification. I've never been laid on a payment. They charge me over $350 in late fees. The only reason they haven't taken my house is because I've never missed a payment. I have good credit, and I'm trying to aggressively protect that, even if the banks are shredding documents and committing felonies. And you guys can't help? All right, well, sir, looking at you on right now, what I'm seeing is the fact that you, you have, it looks like four liens on the property. Four? No. No. Okay. What I'm showing you is you have one with Bank of America. Uh, that's the normal loan, yes. And you have two with Navy Federal. Yes. And then there's a HELOC out there with Union Bank? There's no HELOC. There's no line of credit? Line of credit? Yeah. I have a $500 security thing attached to my ATM card. And, um, and that maybe, maybe we should, uh, not times on the credit reports because it's a line of credit. Sometimes HELOCs will come up as line of credit, and sometimes line of credits will come up as HELOCs. So oh, like, yeah, I owe them, what? $200 to make that balance zero, but because of Bank of America's wonderful communication techniques, um, it'll have to wait. I'll get hit with a $25 fine, but it shouldn't be showing up on my credit. That's what I don't understand. Well, no, well, it's a line of credit is just like a credit card. Um, it's just a different form of a credit card. It's a credit card they advance you. They say you can borrow up to like ten thousand dollars. A line of credit the same thing. They say you could borrow up to ten thousand dollars. You borrow on it. And then but I, I need to balance. look. In, I need to look into this. Then, if you're telling me I have an open HELOC with Union Bank, yeah. Okay. It's showing, it's open. Yeah, it's showing uh, that you owe uh, about three hundred seventy dollars at them. How much? Three hundred seventy. No, because I just made a payment yesterday of two fifty. So I'm down to I owe them two hundred and seven dollars. Okay, well, this credit report was pulled before the okay. end of March. Okay, yep. Yeah. I owe 207 today. February. Okay, so that's, so that's not a, that's not a mortgage, so let's just put that as a line of credit home. Thank you so much. Can someone look into Susie hanging up twice on me? The first time she blamed it on hitting the wrong button on her earpiece. The second time uh -huh. she just hung up, and it's safe. Okay. Uh, I mean, why? I'm begging for help. I'm drowning here. I've never been laid on a mortgage payment. And the Bank of America, one of their employees, this is where I'm going to get my the house paid off completely. One of their employees told me, you can get a lawyer, but then you'll be broke and homeless. Can you imagine talking to a customer that way? He was having a bad day, and, and they refused to look into it. Okay, so you have, you have three, 
Oh, yeah. First, second, and third. Thank you. Okay. The primary. The long and the short of this is. Uh, um, Bank of America. And we're going to start the whole sequence over. I've already put in a phone call to Congresswoman yeah. Susan Davis. Do you have a, a name and phone number of the best person for her to reach to save them time from to deal with this? Because I fax the I fax the president every other day. You know, okay. it, it's going to something's got to give. Okay, if she wants to call me, uh, my name is Ann Ryan, R-Y-A-N. R-Y-A-N. And your direct line, please? My direct line is 850. 850-473-473-2312. Okay, and do you have an email by chance? Uh, my email address is Ann, A-N-N, -N uh -huh. underscore yes. Marie, M-A-R-I-E. Yes. Underscore yes. Ryan. R Y A N? Yes, sir. Okay. At NavyFederal.org. What I like about you guys, you guys are upfront and honest. The Bank of America? Are you kidding? It would be like NavyFederal.org? Yes, sir. Um, they deliberately keep you in the dark. They did that to me for 14 months. They refused to just communicate directly. That's why I started taping it. Okay. Because everything they would say, I have. The long and the short of that. Is, is Navy Federal said they were going to look into it, they got my hopes way up here, and then boom, I ran into Susan. Scary.